Okay. Go ahead. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Sunny Shepherd Gym here in the campus of Delone Catholic High School. As we bring you the girls' uh, non-league game against Greencastle Antrim from the Mid-10 uh, Colonial Conference. Um, with, this is Tony Weaver along with Bill Smith. We're here to bring you this game tonight. Busy week for DCBN. As we have tomorrow night, weather permitting, we got the boys' senior night against Bermudian Springs. And then Friday night, we have the girls' senior night against Crosstown Rival, the Hanover Nighthawks. Uh, tonight, the loan enters the game 17-2. and two. Uh, They have Division Three of the uh, YAIA all sewed up. Big non-conference win against New Oxford on fr uh, Saturday night. Uh, DeLone's riding a big win streak here, 17-2 and two overall. Greencastle, by the way, 9-1 and one in Colonial Conference play in the mid-10. They're 12-4 and four overall, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens here tonight. The JVs, the lone JVs, cruised past uh, the Greencastle JVs 48-5 to five in a Mercy Rule game uh, that just got over. We have about seven minutes before tip-off here. And, uh, Bill, it looks like... Uh, Greencastle's a pretty well unknown to me. I have no idea other than their record that we saw. Uh, I'm not sure who their leading scorers are or anything like that. Yeah, that quick research just a few minutes ago was a little surprising after the JV game. I didn't expect a whole lot of success from them, but they're very strong in their league so far. It's – I'm not sure. I mean, they're going to get – their division's pretty big teams. Uh, big Springs, James Buchanan, Shippensburg. Waynesboro, so some rather big schools at least, if not big programs. Yeah, the, the basketball in mid Penn, uh really, uh, once you get out of the, the the big conference where the Harrisburg Highs and Chambersburg sits, uh, they pretty much keep them uh, geographically, so it's not much of a trip. So Greencastle, uh, down there with James Buchanan, Waynesboro, all in the area over here to our west, and then Big Springs a little bit to our northwest. And uh, they used to be part of the old Blue Mountain League. Yeah, I recognize the teams from. Which Stallone played in yeah. back in the, uh, I think, 80s and 90s. I coached in it, so I, I really don't know. I can't remember the years. But Greencastle was, uh, when we didn't even, before we got in the Blue Mountain League, we actually scrimmaged Greencastle in football for a lot of years. It's about maybe uh, 35 miles west of us here uh, past Gettysburg and past Fairfield, and you run into Greencastle, and then you go up the road about 10 more miles. James Buchanan sits there in Mercersburg. So uh, this has been a game that's been played last year and this year. Last year the girls went to Greencastle. This year the boys have gone to Greencastle tonight in a big game for the Squires because uh, the boys sit at 8-11. and 11. They have three games. They need to make. They need to at least one, win one of them to uh, stay in fourth place to make district. The lone girls look like they're – pretty well encamped at the number two in the districts and uh, just behind Trinity. So we'll have to see how the Squires handle Greencastle here tonight. Uh, yeah, this could be a surprise game. It could be a walk in the park. I don't know. It, 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 Greencastle, we're watching them warming up now. It doesn't look like they got a lot of height out there. In fact, I got their roster here. and Their tallest girls, five foot ten, Olivia Winslow, number 15. She's a sophomore. Everybody else falls in the 5'7 range. Uh, some really tough names here to go. McKenna Rakashevsky, uh, number 12, Heidi Schatzenbacher. Uh, we'll have to wait and see who their starters are. But like we said, we watched the JV game, and the lone JVs just, they had a 30 to nothing halftime lead. That's right, 30 to nothing. The game ended up 45 to to, uh, 48 to 5. 48 to 5 because yep. it went to the mercy rule. <clears throat> we'll have the starting lineups here momentarily. For the Squires, we know who the uh, – well, I shouldn't say we do know that because, you know, I don't know who he's going to put out there. But usually the starters are Riley Vincent, uh, Dee McCormick, Brooke Lawyer, uh, Brady Zumbrum, and uh, Colleen Anderson. And then about four minutes into the game, he brings in Maggie Wells, Gianna Hodnott, and uh, Cameron Felix. That's been Jerry, Coach Jerry Eckenrode, who's on the verge of getting his, I don't know how many times he had 21 seasons, but he's surely going to hit it this year because Delone has three games left in a regular season, and uh, they sit at 17-2 and two right now, undefeated in the league. 
And then uh, they're certainly going to make the YAIA League playoffs, and they're already uh, pretty much assured of a home game in the districts. So we'll have to wait and see Brady Zumbrum, the senior here, the senior leader. She's going to York College, continue her basketball career. Other seniors on the team that will be announced Friday night are Ashley Becker, Maggie Wells, Dee McCormick, Colleen Anderson, and Brady Zumbrum. Welcome back to Sunny Shepherd Gym here in the campus of Lone Catholic High School. I think uh, Assistant Athletic Director Dave Lawrence is here this evening. He's going to tell what you can and can't yeah, do. Yeah, it didn't sound like Tim. I was like, oh, that's Dave. Yep. Kind of an anemic student section tonight. Yeah. Maybe about four or five kids there. Certainly not the uh, crowd we had for no. North Catholic or even uh, last Friday night. Lydia Chris, number 22, a senior guard, will start for Greencastle. Sage Wilhelm, 5'7 guard. Rakashevsky, number three. Ashley True. Madison Schweitzer, number 24. Looks like the five that I said are going to start here. Brooke Lawyer, three-point magician. Dee McCormick, uh, the point guard. Colleen Anderson, senior. Riley Vincent, who I think has been playing super, super defense all year long. And the York College recruit Brady Zumbrum rounds out the top five here. We're going to stand for the national anthem. We will be quiet while we try to get this on the air. Sung by uh, JV player there, Maddie Zig. Yep. Did the, did the singing there. Yeah, she did very the well. National anthem, very nice rendition. Mom was in my class. She's in my homeroom. <laughs> take a little bit of well, no, I can't take any credit for that, but still. Scott Dutter is the head referee this evening. One of the best in York County. He also does a lot of college games. So I'm going to have to work on uh, these names here. 
Rakashevsky. Lydia yeah, Chris, I think that's Schweitzer. We don't have that wordsmith Eric Lawrence with us tonight. He. <laughs> going to be Brady Zumbrum jumping center for the Squarettes. We'll have to see if uh, Coach Eckenrode comes out in his patented uh, zone trap tonight against uh, Greencastle. Ball goes up. Zumbrum taps it back to Vincent, and here we go. Over to Anderson. I'm sorry, McCormick out front. Gets the ball into Zumbrum. Nice pass over to... Uh, but it's a miss from McCormick. Up comes a bomb from the corner by number 14. Uh, Sage Wildhead, not good. Here comes Vincent down with the squares. Back to Anderson. Vincent gets it inside to Colleen Anderson. Up and in. Nice give and go there. Anderson started from the high post and worked low. Greencastle brings the ball up with number 22, Chris, playing point. She's going to go to the basket, gives it back up to number 14, Wilhide. Shot not good, rebounded by Brady Zumbrum, and here go the Squires. Vincent in the corner, stops, pops for three, got it. They left her alone, and she nailed it from about 20 feet. Chris up to Wilhide. Back over to Rasashevsky. She has the ball out front. Tries oh. to get it inside, but it's taken away by Anderson. Nice pass to Brady Zumbrum. Up and in. And the Squires have opened up a 7 to nothing lead here. And really now they're fast gonna, start. <laughs> and now they're going to apply that press. Rakashevsky has the ball. Ball's taken away by Anderson on a steal. Lays it up. And she got it. 9 nothing. Quick 9-point lead by the Squirettes. Greencastle 12 and 4, and they lead the Colonial Division. We got a foul way far away from the basket on Rally Vincent. I don't believe that's something Coach uh, Eckenrode wants that far away from the basket. Rakashevsky's going to trigger it in here, number three. She gets it to Chris, the point guard, being guarded by Brooke Lawyer. Yep, ball's tipped. tipped up. Chris out front, lawyer on her. No good. Lawyer gets the rebound. She's running the court. Into Brady Zumbrum. She lays it up and got good, it. Good. I've always said for her whole career, she gets it on the left side. It's usually going in the basket. That was certainly the case against your Catholic. Anderson gets a loose ball at midcourt. Here come the Squirettes. Rakashevsky threw that ball away into the midcourt. Anderson corralled it. Back to Zumbrum. Give it to Lawyer. Lawyer from three. That's not going to be there. She had a tough night shooting Saturday night also. Rakashevsky for back to Chris. And she's going to set something up here. We look like they're going to run a 1-4 low. Back to Rakashevsky. Over to True. Back to Christ. There's a bomb. Not there. Trying to get them three-pointers to fall. Not doing. Chris picked up her dribble, and she's in trouble. That was Ooh, that was double yep. dribble, and they missed it. And they, oh, he no, did, they he called it. They called call it. it. He did call it. Scott Dutter did have it. We didn't hear the whistle. It was a very obvious double dribble. We're 312 into this game, and Delone has an 11 point lead. Brady Lawyer brings it in to uh, Anderson. Gets a screen out front from Staub. Rowley Vincent again from three, and she hits another one. That's her second three, and it's 14 to nothing. Squirettes. Ball stolen by Anderson, but it goes out of bounds. And that's one of the things I think the girls have over the bo our boys this year. If um, Brady Alexander isn't firing, the boys are in trouble. Yeah. If 
Colleen's not Evan going. Evan Riley Brady, is. Evan Brady, Brooks, Evan Brady, Evan Brady sorry, yeah. that's right. Um, but we have yeah. other girls that can step up and hit the threes. And right. So it's not as crucial for everybody yeah. to, to be this, on. This team is so deep. Well, like I said, he's going to be bringing in three girls here in a minute. Ball goes out of bounds, and that's going to be – oh, they're going to oh. give it to uh, – I think it was off of Brady. Got to give it to Greencastle here, right in front of us. Lauren Poole's going to bring it in. She gives it to Ratkashevsky. Back to Poole. Pull over to Chris, and here come Greencastle up the court. Tried to get it into Jaeger. The ball went out of bounds. And here come the three that I told you about. I still believe if if you had to put ten people out in the court, we'd have one of the best teams in the state. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's yeah, the loan doesn't lose nothing when these three girls call. The lawyer sits down and Vincent stays in this time. That ball's tipped away by Christ. Cameron Felix in there along with uh, Gianna Hodnut. Wells into Zumbrum. Zumbrum lays it up and in. When she gets it down there, book yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Ball stolen by Hodnot. Ball's going to be tied up. They're going to call a foul. I think it was. I think somebody grabbed uh, Lauren Poole's arm there. Who'd they give it to? I have to wait and see who they gave it to. It was a Squires foul. They're second. Might have might have gave it to Cameron Felix. No, they gave it to Wells. Chris tried to get the ball to pull uh, uh, to uh, Jordan Yeager on a bounce pass, and it went down in the locker room. It looks like I think that was good <laughs> positioning by Brady to just yeah, was. she she stayed. She didn't reach. She was beat. She held her ground and uh, created a bad pass. Hodnot brings the ball up for the Squirettes. Gets it over to Cameron Felix. Back to Hodnot in the corner to uh, Riley Vincent. Out back out to Hodnot. Ooh, oh, Vincent gets it into uh, Wells, and Wells is fouled. She took a shot to the head there. I guess she's okay. Looks like she shook it off. Vincent will trigger it in here for the Squire. That's 16 to nothing, Delone. Some room in the corner. Hodnock got it out front. Vincent was going to try another one, but they've got Hunter. Cameron Felix not there. Rebound by Zumbrum. She puts it up, not there. And it goes over to Blue De Greencastle, the Blue Devils. Into Chris. She lo loses it out of bounds, but it's tapped by Delone. It'll stay with Greencastle. Number 12, Heidi Schatzenberger in the game now. Back out to Chris. Chris over to Schatzenberger. Ball stolen by Vincent. Gives it to Brady Zumbra. Uh, uh -oh. Lays it up. Not there. Rebounded by Gianna Hodnot. Not there again. Again a rebound. Oh. Taken away by True. They're going to call a jump ball, and that's going to be Greencastle's ball. Lauren Poole down there fighting for Greencastle against Zumbra. The only missed a couple easy layups there. Oh, it looks like Brady was kind of between steps there. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. She didn't want to put it down, which was a probably good decision, but she was a little bit away, a little good. too far away from the the basket for a clean layup. Good defense by the Squires. The ball's taken away. Cameron Felix has it, bringing it down the court. Gets it back out to Hodnot. Hodnot for three. Not there. Zumbrum's going to get the rebound. On a, and they're going to set it up with Vincent out front. Vincent to Felix. Back over to Hodnot. 1-2-2 two, two zone being employed by Greencastle. Vincent gets it way back to Felix. Felix gets it in the corner to Vincent. Vincent back. Gianna Hodnot. Not there. Oh, just just about a good rebound there by Felix, but it was tapped away. Schatzenberger has it inside. 
to Jaeger. Jaeger turnaround jumper and not there. Hot not on the rebound. Here come the squares on a break. Gave it to Zumbrum down. The oh, she misses an easy one. And here comes uh, Prist up the court. Not there again. Zumbrum down. She goes to the basket and lays it in. She just had that. You knew she wasn't going to give that up that time. Right. I'd she was going to the hole that time. Chris dribbling down low. She lays up with her left hand and got it. Nice play by uh, Lydia Chris. Scores the first two points for Greencastle. 18-2, to two, the Squirrets lead. Felix brings the ball up slowly. Gets it over to Hodnot. Back to Felix. To Vincent. Inside to Maggie Wells. She lays it up and in, and she's fouled. She's going to have a chance for the traditional three-point play here. Called the foul on number 30, Lauren Poole, her first, team second. Coming back in the game is uh, Zumbrum and, I'm sorry, Zumbrum goes out along with Vincent, and into the game comes Lawyer and Anderson. Wells complete going to try to complete the three-point play here with 105 left in the first quarter. Shots up. Rolls off. No good. Jaeger on the rebound. Rakashevsky back in the game. Great defense by the Squirets here. Chris going to try to penetrate. She can't. Oh, might have been a walk there, but they let it go. <laughs> 33, Paige Avery in the game. The Squirets have the ball. Hodnot on the drive, lays it up. Might have been foul, but no call. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. Christ has the ball out front, being guarded by Hodnot, who steals the ball. Hodnot going in for a layup, lays it up. Not there. No foul called. Nice pass inside to Wells by Brooke Lawyer. 22 to 2. Stolen back. There's four seconds left. The ball into Hodnot. Lays it up and in. That's going to be the end of the first quarter here at Sunny Shepherd Gym. The score, the Lone Catholic 24, Greencastle 2. And uh, looking at their record and looking at what they had, I know they're a 4A school. You know, this score might be a little surprising to some. They were... Greencastle's 12 and 4, 9 and 1 in the league. Well, we had two pieces of information that just didn't match. Yeah. The JV <laughs> game and the the and their stats looking up on their record. So I I don't know. Apparently, it, you know, we can believe what we saw at the moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, another high shooting percentage. There was a couple missed layups in there, but other than that, the loans seem to uh, handle. Anything that Greencastle threw at him, and Greencastle could not handle Delone's pressure. Let's see who's in the game here for Delone to start. It is a starter's back in. Uh, let's see, Zumbrum, Lawyer, Anderson, Thanks, McCormick, man. and Vincent back in the game. Let's see who uh, Greencastle sends out here. Team fouls are two apiece. Greencastle is going to send out Rakashevsky, Madison Schweitzer, Lydia Christ, Sage Wilhide, and number 11, Ashley True. That's their starters also. So they bring their starters back into the game. So both teams have their first five in. Anderson in the corner. Alone going against the 3 2 zone, a 1 2 2 zone, I guess. Anderson from downtown, it's not there. Uh, They're going to call a foul here on uh, Brady Zumbrum and not the one you want. And she did reach there. Yeah, that was teams, uh, her first, team's third. Chris to bring the ball up for. I wasn't arguing it when I, my. No, no. It was just, un just unfortunate, not, not a good play. 
and like we've seen most of the year here, teams are having a real tough time against Delone's pressure. Becca Shepsey's going to bring it in here. She gets it to Wilhide. Being guarded by McCormick. Back out to Rakashevsky. Over to True. Tried to get it inside, but it's knocked away by Colleen Anderson, and the Squirrels will bring it down the court. It seemed like Colleen kind of baited her there, too, to make that Rally pass. Gets it again for three, not there. Nice rebound by Colleen Anderson. She knocked that ball away and controlled it. Back to Vincent. Over to Anderson. Alone taking their time. Anderson's going to take a three. Not there, a little short. Rebounded by Rakashevsky. Wave. Just there, they finally get it inside, and it's good, and she's fouled. And that was number 24, making that Ma Madison Schweitzer. She'll go to the line to complete her three point play. They called that foul number 14, D. McCormick. And that's the first time that I saw Bill that I can remember them getting the ball inside like that. Yeah, that was the best opportunity they had Good so ball far. movement. Schweitzer's going to try for the three-point play. Her shot is up and good. 24-5, to Delone leads with 6.15 left here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ball almost thrown away there. Delone gets it back. Three-point shot. Good by Brooke Lawyer. And that have to be a low. She shot very poorly Saturday night and started off with a miss here early. She gets her three going here. Ball's out of bounds, and that's going to be – oh, they're going to keep it with Greencastle. McKenna Rakashevsky is going to bring it in here for Greencastle. Back out to Chris. Chris going to the basket. Tries to lay it up, but it's blocked nicely by Colleen Anderson. Here come the Squires. Riley Vincent gets it over to Anderson into Brady. Back out to Brooke Lawyer. She stops. Pops good. About a 14-footer there to make it 29-5. to Chris brings it up. Gives it to Will Hyde. She has a little trouble with it. It's taken away by the Squire. It's again. Brady Zumbrum. Nice move. Lays it up. Uh, Don't go. She gets, gets the it. rebound. Lays it back up and there. gets it in. 31-5. to five. Delone in a little bit of a spurt here after uh, Ringcastle scored five straight points. Ball knocked away by Riley Vincent. She gets it just in time. Nice reverse layup by Brooke Lawyer. She has seven, and it's 33-5. to five. Delone's defense just too much for Greencastle right now. Ball knocked away again. They're going to stay, stay with Greencastle. In comes yeah, they're, for, they're for some bad decisions. In comes five new girls for Delone. Let's see. It's uh, Felix, uh, Wells, Hodnot. Number 34 is Maggie Hughes. And I missed one there. Let me get who that other one is. I think it's Ashley Becker. Number yeah, Ashley four. Becker. Yes, you're right. Number four. Chris dribbles it off her leg but recovers it. Calls two dribbles, and that was a good call. 426 left here in the first half. Delone up by 28. A whole new uh, crop of girls in here for Delone. Jerry uh, subs very freely. Becker back out to Hodnot. Hodnot to Felix. Felix over to Hodnot. Hodnot's going to take a three. It's a little short. Rebounded nicely by Wells. She tries to put it back up. She's going to be fouled. She's going to go to the line for two. 
and it looks like it's going to be on Lauren Poole, number 30. It is her third, it says up there, team's third. I'm not sure she has all three, but. I don't know. I don't know she didn't. Wells is sh yeah, she might. Wells is yeah. shots up and good. That's what the board says, so we'll go with that. Maggie Wells' first shot was good. Her second shot is up and also good, blown up by 30. Lydia Chris going to bring it up against Gianna Hodnot. Hodnot's a ball hawking defensive player. Felix on number 14. Will Hyde. We're going to have Maggie Wells called for something out front. That's her second, team's fifth. Chris takes the ball out front. Berta Bahad not. She gets it back to Schatzenberger. Oh, nice pass inside, but a missed layup. She got it back. She got the rebound back, and she's fouled. Number 35, Jordan Yeager got loose inside. She's going to shoot two. They have the foul on Ashley Becker, her first team sixth. And Yeager's going to shoot two. Her first shot's up and a little short. Coming into the game is Olivia Winslow. She'll take over for uh, Lauren Poole, who has three fouls. Yeager to shoot one more. Shot's up. Not there. Ashley Becker controls it and gives it to Felix. Felix gets the ball out front. Back over to Hodnot. I'm not in the corner to use. Back to Felix. Felix to Hodnot. Back to Hughes. Hughes from three in the corner. A little, little strong. Felix in the rebound. Lays it up. Not there. She saves it, though, to Hodnot. Hodnot takes a two-pointer. Not there. And Chris rebounds. Here come the Greencastle Blue Devils. No. Crystal Wilhide is knocked out, saved, but back to Wilhide. They're going to say uh, DeLone was out of bounds, and they're going to give the ball to Greencastle under the basket. Triggered into Christ. That was a three-point shot, not there. Rebounded by uh, Ashley Becker, and here come the Squirettes. Hodnot has it out front. Gives it in the corner of Maggie Wells. Back to Hodnot. Hodnot to Felix. Felix is going to take a three-pointer, and she got it. She nailed it. 38-5. to five. Chris brings the ball up for Greencastle. Ball went nice passing, but the ball stolen away by Cameron Felix. Squire has a Squire have a four and five here. They won it. Felix brings the ball back out front, gives it to Hodnot. Hodnot's going to take a three. Not there. Rebounded by number 14, Will Hyde, and she brings the ball up court. Under two minutes, the ball into number 15 for Greencastle. Shots up, no good. Rebounded by Hodnot, and we got a timeout. And I think the timeout's just to get another person into the game. 30-second timeout, number 15 for the Squirettes. Julia O'Brien is going to come into the game. So the only one that hasn't been in the game so far is Maddie Zig, unless I missed her in there at one time or another. I don't think she's been in. I mean, she played the JV game and sang the national anthem. So yeah. <laughs> she will get in, I'm sure. 38 to 5, 152 left here in the first half. Well, it's not that she hadn't been. It's not that she hasn't been busy tonight. Yeah, yeah. She had a nice game in the JV game, too. So let's see who she came in for here. Oh, my. Let's see. Who Maggie. She Wells. came for Maggie Wells. Yeah, she came in for Wells. Felix brings the ball up over to Hodnot. Back to Hughes. 
Hot knot back to Hughes. And to Ashley Becker. Ashley Becker stops, pops, not there. And she's out of bounds. I think 15 was out of bounds. Yeah, I think so. She was on the line. She was on the line. They're going to give it over to Greencastle here with 135 left before halftime. Delone comfortably 33 points ahead here. Chris brings it up against Hodnot. Loses the ball over to back to Hodnot. Hodnot lays it up. Oh, it's off the rim. Greencastle gives it to Rakashevsky. And the ball's taken away by Hughes, but knocked out of bounds, and the ball's going to stay with Greencastle. Ball comes into Paige Avery. She's tied up. Ball taken away by Hughes. There's a three-pointer. Not there. Ashley Becker in the rebound. She's going to lay it up. Not there. She gets the ball back. Has it taken from her by Avery. Over to Chris, and here comes the Blue Devils. Nice 35 on the rebound. She lays it up and in. Jaeger got the rebound of a Winslow miss and stuck it in for the Greencastle. It's 38-7 with 30 seconds left. Fault will try to get it into Hughes. Hughes is fouled by number 35, Jordan Jaeger. Not going to be one and one yet. That's only the fourth team foul. Going to be Jaeger's first. Felix on a three-point shot. A little long and up. A, it should have been called. It was. Okay, up, up off the black uh, bank board there. 35 will bring it in. Jordan Jaeger will give it to Chris. 25 seconds left here in the first half to loan up by 31 points. Jaeger tries to go to the basket. She's going to be fouled. They're going to call a foul on Hodnot. That's going to be one and one. That's a team seventh, Hodnot's first. First shot's up and good. 38 to 8. Chris will get one more shot here. Second shot's up and also good. 16 seconds left. Here comes Felix with the ball for the Squirettes. Felix gives the ball to Hodnot. Hodnot to use. Back to Hodnot. Back to use. Ball's getting side taken away. Out of bounds, and with 1.8, the loan's going to get to trigger it in under their basket. Hodnot will bring it in. Becker with a three-pointer. Rolls around. It's going to count. It's good. The score at halftime will be DeLone Catholic 41, the Greencastle Blue Devils 9. Well, that was a first half, wasn't it? It was. That, I mean, that it sort of mirrored the JV game a little bit. A bit. A lot of defense, a lot of fast movement by the Squires. I just don't think the uh, Greencastle girls could keep up with that. Well, it's, it's I mean, DeLone, it's 41 to 9. You might think DeLone had an offensive uh Juggernaut here, but their defense is what's doing it. I mean, Greencastle, as we've seen, a lot of teams, the only team that could penetrate the loan, York Catholic couldn't the other night. Uh, we, we saw Trinity get inside a little bit, but even they had trouble. They right. had to rely on their outside shots. The loan's perimeter defense is just, it takes these, these teams out of what they do well. And uh, so it's a big 41-9 uh, to 9, uh, lead here for the Squirettes at halftime. We'll have to see. If Jerry comes back and plays some of his uh, starters here at all in the second half, because if he does, it's going to quickly get to a 40-point game and, and a mercy roll game. So we'll, we'll take some time off here and show you some public service announcements. We'll be back with the second half shortly. Score at halftime, Delone 41, Greencastle 9.
jump to something else and come back. I just need to get, get off of the scene back onto this one. Welcome back here to Sunny Shepherd Gym at halftime. Five minutes left in the halftime. DeLone 41, Greencastle 9. Uh, DeLone used everybody on the bench uh, extensively there in the first half and uh, have built this 32-point lead. DeLone plays tomorrow night against Bermudian Springs up at uh, – DeLone was a 24-point victor here against Bermudian early in the year. They get back up to Bermudian. Bermudian sits at third place in uh, Division Three. And then ends their season Friday night against the Hawkettes here at the Lone, which was senior night, which we hope to have right here on DCBN. Hope to have tomorrow night's game, weather permitting. If uh, I think the schools around here will start, I don't know if they'll get, if they're going to get off early here and probably do something with the schedule tomorrow night if that happens. But we will, whenever night it is, we will have the Delone boys uh, senior night against Bermudian either tomorrow night or whenever it's rescheduled for. Announcing the 50-50 here. Couldn't have got much out of that tonight. <laughs> uh, I wish we had Eric here. Eric's a lot better in these public service announcements than I am. Uh, I know uh, February 8th is the date for the uh, DeLone Hall of Fame class, the next class to get in. I know 1.30 there's a mass in the old gym, and then there's a reception in the library. I think the reception's in the library. And tickets are available for the dinner that starts at 5.30 until Friday, February 1st, through Friday, February 1st. So if you're interested in attending that, give DeLone Catholic a call at 637-5969, and they'll direct you uh, to somebody to get you tickets for that event on uh, February 8th, Friday, February 8th. And not to dissuade anybody from getting a ticket, but I do believe we're going to – Probably not stream it live, but record the oh really the, the at least the speeches to to have them available to see on on the YouTube page as well. I'm sure Eric will have more information about that tomorrow night. Eric, by the way, Eric Lawrence will be on with me tomorrow night, uh, weather permitting again for the Delone girls, sorry, the Delone boys senior night against Bermudian Springs. Uh, try to find out if we can get a score from Greencastle. I don't know if anybody here is connected with up there in Greencastle to get us how the boys are doing up there. Uh, that's where they last year the girls played up there. This year the boys played up there. It's a two-year contract. I'm not sure if it's signed for next year or not. Uh, girls coming back out in the court here for the loan. We'll have to see, like I said, before we broke for half, we'll have to see if Coach Eckenrode, Jerry Eckenrode, plays how long the starters play because if the fourth quarter, there's a 40-point lead in the fourth quarter, of course, the mercy rule takes effect, and that really really limits the time that he, he gets. But although first half he played everybody, so all the girls are getting a lot of time here this evening. But as I said, Eric Lawrence will be on with me tomorrow night, and uh, Friday night 
for senior night for the girls. It'll be me and uh, Bill again right back here as the girls play, take on Hanover and Coach Denny Garman's Hawkettes. The Delone probably going to have a home playoff game, but uh, we're not going to be able to, uh, because of uh, district rules, we're not going to be able to televise that. And uh, we don't think it does it justice just to have a radio version of it. So uh, Friday night will probably be our last sporting event for the year. But as Bill said, uh, they're going to do something with the Hall of Fame inductee speeches. And also, I believe, uh, probably baccalaureate and uh, graduation. Baccalaureate's a little problematic trying to get a good angle in the church there, but definitely for graduation. Definitely graduation here in the Shepherd Gym. I guess it'll be again. It's almost time to start the second half. To load up 32. Had very little trouble uh, penetrating Greencastle's zone. Uh, Greencastle stuck in their zone. Uh, the 3-2 zone most of the first half. Delone played man-to-man, -man, pressed a little bit, maybe for half of the first quarter, then they pulled that off. There goes the buzzer, so we have a minute here. We'll have to see, like I said, who Coach sends out. Only person in foul trouble is Lauren Poole who, for uh, number 30 for Greencastle, who has three. And it looks like uh, the Squirrets are going to send out their starting five, but we'll have to wait to see who out the court here. The arrow favors Greencastle. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. Scott Dutter waiting right in front of us to hand the ball in. And let's see. It's Ashley True, Raskashevsky, Chris. It's its starters for Greencastle. Oh, no. True's... Uh, 30's not in, 14's in. Uh, Savage, Sage Wilhelm, and uh, Madison Schweitzer. Ball's over to Kristen. Here we go. Number 11, also Ashley True's in for. Ball to get into True. Taken away by Zumbrum on a fast break. The lawyer. Lawyer's out in front of everybody. She goes to the basket, lays it in. No foul. She missed the ball. Rakashevsky's going to shoot for three, not there. Rebounded by D. Anderson, and up come the Squirettes. Brady Zumbum way far away from the basket. Lawyer for three, not there. Anderson, nice rebound. Back to Lawyer. She'll take another three, and not there again. The ball hits Brady Zumbum on the leg and goes out of bounds. Ashley True triggered it into Lydia Christ, and here we come up the court. Long shot by Delone. Looked like they we're in a 3-2 zone there, a 2-3 zone there. I'll have to check in the next time down. Anderson brings the ball up, gets it to Rowley Vincent. Vincent back to Anderson. Anderson swings it to Lawyer. Back to Vincent. Over to Anderson. She gets it inside to Colleen Anderson, lays it up and in, and she's fouled. You know, I keep calling McCormick Anderson and Anderson McCormick. I have done that for four years. <laughs> you think I'd get their numbers right now. Colleen Anderson's going to go to the line to shoot to complete a regular three-point play. That foul was on number 11, Ashley True. Anderson puts the ball through the hoop, and the loan's up 35. Chris brings the ball up for Greencastle. Goes to the basket, stops, lays it in. It's blocked by Zumbrum. Ball's loose on the floor. No call by anybody out front. Finally a call, and they're going to call a foul on Delone. They called it on Brooke Lawyer. Ball goes in the backcourt to Christ. Back over to True. Ball's knocked away by Lawyer. She's flying in all alone. Lays it up and in. All right, Steve. 
I think she had a little bit of an attitude after getting that foul called on her. <laughs> They're going to call Zumbrum for the foul, I think. Yes, it, it looked. And 24 Schweitzer's going to shoot two. I don't know if she really hit anything, but she did kind of swing downward. Schweitzer shoots two. She had two foul shots earlier. She makes this one. She'll get another one. 46-10 right now. Her second shot is up. Not there. Rebounded by Zumbrum. And she brings it up the court. Gives it to Anders er, McCormick. Back to McCormick. Over to Vincent. Back to McCormick. Back to McClellan working. Never ball inside to Anderson. Three seconds called on Colleen Anderson in the in the paint. Lydia Crystal bring the ball up for Greencastle. Squires are playing a little bit of a zone here. A long three-pointer, not there. Oh. Rebound out to Rakashevsky. Another three-pointer. Good. They got that one. That was Chris, number 22. 46-13. And McCormick brings the ball up for the Squirrels. Ball into Zumbrum. She tries to get up. She's hacked, and finally a foul call. I'm not sure they're going to call it a shooting foul. Let's see. Yeah, they are going to give yeah, Zumbrum. She thinks two. it is. She's standing right there at the line. <laughs> Ashley True with her second foul. Team second. Both team with two team fouls. And Zumbrum will shoot two. Her first one's up. Long. She has one more coming. Second shot's up. And she and got it. <laughs> Squire's up 34 with five minutes left here in the third quarter. Chris, who just hit a three. Ball's picked off again, this time by Vincent. Riley Vincent. She's in all alone, lays it up and in. Greencastle even having a little trouble with his zone with the loans thrown on him here. Ball's thrown away by Greencastle. It's going to go out of bounds to the Squirettes. Uh, I don't know what coach is going to do. Is he going to let these girls play the whole third quarter and then go with everybody else in the fourth? Or well, he usually substitutes usually has during the in quarter. By now. Yeah. Well, it is only four minutes. Maybe about halfway through he'll do it. The here they come. Here they come. Brady from the corner, a three-pointer, not there, tapped away by Colleen Anderson, and are going to give the ball to Greencastle. And in comes, uh, let's see, Maggie Wells, Gianna Hodnott. Use Felix and Becker. And that might be the last we see of the starters tonight. Chris brings the ball up. And the second team's going to play a little bit of a zone, too. Ball's taken away by the Squirettes. Given to Becker. Back to Hodnot. Here come the Squires. Over to Felix to use uh, Wells. Hodnot has it out front. Cross court pass to uh, Felix. She has it in to use. Over to Wells. Felix is going to take a three, and it's there. Can't leave her open like that. 52 to 13 with 325 left here in the third quarter. Greencastle throwing it around out front. Chris is going to take another three. It's not there. No. Nice rebound in there by number 30, and she's fouled. Lauren Poole, who's back in the game with three fouls. Let's see who they gave that foul to. It's going to be Delone's third. 
Um, yeah, it's Maggie Wells' third, too. Poole's going to shoot two. Her first one's short. 312 left here in the third quarter. Pull to shoot one more. She got that one. 52 to 14. And up come the Squires with Hod not playing point. Over to Felix. Felix back to Hod not. Back over to Felix. In the corner to Becker. Becker way out to Hod not. She's going to take a three. Maggie Wells in the rebound goes up. She's fouled going to the hoop. She's going to shoot two. Number 35, Jordan Yeager for Greencastle picked up that foul. Her second team's third. Wells will shoot two. The first one's up, and she got it. to get one more second shots up and good there's the 40 point lead but I don't think the mercy rule takes effect until the fourth quarter I could be wrong but we're going to see here we'll check the next dead ball see what Rakashevsky's open she's going to try to dribble in nothing there Schatzenberger a three pointer is not there rebounded by Maggie Wells she gives it up to Ashley Becker, and here come the Squirettes. Over to Felix. To use. Cross court to Hodnot. Hodnot drives. Back to Becker in the corner for three. Not there. Chris with a rebound for Greencastle. Rakashevsky's going to take a three. Not there. Oh, rebound by Becker, but I think they're going to call over the back there. That's on the floor. It's going to be Becker's second, team's fourth. McKenna Rakashevsky will bring the ball in for Greencastle to Schatzenberger. Both at once. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris to take a three. Not there. Long rebound back to Schatzenberger. And back over to Chris. 1.30 left here in the third quarter. Ball back to Chris. Ball knocked away. There's going to be a foul. I think that's going to be in Hodnot. It's going to be the team's fifth. Wow, they called it in Wells. That's her fourth. That's her fourth. I didn't even think she was around that. <laughs> she was on the inside. She was on the, ball, the, the basket side. But I thought the foul came from the ball side. Another three-point shot by Paige Avery. Not there. Back over to Avery, but it's knocked away oh, okay. nicely by Maggie Hughes. Yeah, we're still running, so we are. Yeah, we are in the mercy rule. Okay. Mercy rule is in effect. And the ball's out of bounds. No. Squires up 40, and the mercy rule is in effect. Hodnot brings it across the timeline for the Squirettes. Back to Felix. In the corner to Becker. Back over to Felix. She drives. Nice pass to Wells. Wells lays it up. Not there. Thought she was fouled, too. But no call. Chris brings it up. Over to Schatzenberger. To Avery. Avery stops, pops from three, not there. Chris puts it up at the buzzer, not there. At the end of the third quarter, the Blown Squires at 54, Greencastle 14. So the mercy rule is in effect, so this will be a very quick fourth quarter. And uh, got to see who Coach sends out here. I'm not sure he's going to send his starters back out, but he could just for a, a token appearance. Oh, it is. It is a starter. He's going to bring him out here. Delone has the ball. It's going to be the first five. It's going to be uh, Zumbrum, 
Colleen Anderson, number 24, D. McCormick, number 15, Brooke Lawyer, number 20, and Riley Vincent, number 11. For Greencastle, number 14, Sage Wilhide, number 24, Madison Schweitzer, number 11, Ashley True, number 3, McKenna Rakashevsky, and of course, Chris out there, their starters also. McCormick going to give the ball to Vincent, and here we go to start the fourth quarter. Some of them gets it to Anderson. Rowley Vincent from the corner for three. Not there. Rakashevsky on the rebound for Greencastle. Chris from three. Long rebound. Rebounded nicely by Greencastle. Back out. Tough shot there. Oh, and Greencastle got the rebound but can't make it. Zumbrum has the rebound, saves it, but she stepped out of bounds. So it's going to stay here with Greencastle. Good work under the board there by Madison Schweitzer for Greencastle. Try to get the ball into Schweitzer. Riley Vincent knocks it away. Dillon does a lot of that. They'll bat the ball out of bounds. It's not a, a turnover, but it does disrupt the flow of, of the offense. Yeah. For every turnover, it seems to get two of those, and that just shortens the game, gives everybody a chance to set up, and then they have to break the zone or the, the coverage all over again. The lone sting in their zone falls out of, falls out of bounds, going to be given to Delone. I don't know what the ref was thinking. Maybe he thought he thought maybe Delone touched it. I don't know. Squares will bring it in with 6:29 left here in the game. Mercy roll running, running clock. Vincent in the corner to Lawyer. Lawyer with a long three, rims it in and out. Anderson on the rebound. She'll lay it up, not there. Uh -oh. Gets her Gets own her rebound. Up. Lays it up again, not there. We're going to get a foul uh -oh. on Delone. That's going to be their six-team foul. Let's see who they called that on. Number 24, Colleen Anderson with her first foul. Chris brings the ball up for Greencastle. Rakashevsky back to Chris. She'll shoot the three. Not there. Rebound by Vincent. And here come the other girls for the loan. They're going to be coming in here shortly. Again, a long three. Got she it. Got it. Brooke Lawyer. She has 12. 521 in a very quick fourth quarter going to be here because that clock's not going to stop. Knocked away by Lawyer. She's going to get another two here. Give her thir or 14 in the night. Time out the loan just to get the other girls yep. in. 59 to 14. They do have a game tomorrow night, so the starters only. I don't even think they played half the game here this evening. It was about halfway through each quarter. Yeah. So, yeah, they might have played half the game. So, let's see who's coming in. We're going to have uh, number 15 for the Squirettes, and that's uh, Julie O'Brien. Going to be in with Hodnot, O'Brien, Felix. And Maddie Zig. Maddie Zig. And so, Maddie Zig was and the Becker. last one to come off the bench tonight. So, every girl has played. Yes. My guess is they're going to play the last five minutes here unless he. Chris brings it up for Greencastle. Five minutes left in the game. Rakashevsky saves it at half court. Back to Will Hyde over to Rakashevsky. Chris is going to shoot a three. Not there. Nice rebound by number 11. Ashley True and Delone taking a take over. Hodnot brings the ball up. Gets it in the corner. Becker Hodnot with a long, long three. A little short. Uh, Mighty Zig got the ball. Rakashevsky loses the ball. 
corralled by the loan. Felix with a long three. Near rim miss. The ball's going to go over to Greencastle. Two girls coming in for Greencastle, and that's number 30, Lauren Poole. Let's see who else came in. Number 15, Olivia Winslow. Chris brings the ball. I don't think Chris came out yet. She brings the ball up. Gets it to Rogashevsky. Over to Schatzenberger. There we go again. Back to the Back to Schatzenberger. Tries to get it inside, taken away. Ball given to Hodnott. Hodnott. She gives it to Felix. Felix. Nice yeah. left-handed oh. layup, not there, though. Ball taken by Ashley Becker. She lays it up, not there. Felix throws it up left-handed, not there. Chris going to go to the basket. She lays it up and in, and she's fouled. It's going to be fouled by number 15, Julia O'Brien, I think. They're going to call it on her. And Chris is going to get to shoot a three-point play, and the clock does stop when you shoot fouls. Felix comes out. Hodnott comes out. Wells and number 34. Maggie Hughes. Maggie Hughes comes in. Three-point play by Chris, and she's going to come out of the game. Jordan Yeager comes in. Hughes is going to play the point a little bit here. Back to Becker. Becker to Zig. Back to Becker. Over to Hughes. Nice. Uh, oh, she tried to pass it inside. Yeah. Not there. Long cross-court pass intercepted by Delone. Going to the basket. Lays it up. Not there. But uh, she's out of bounds. Ashley knew she was out of bounds when she brought that in. Paige Avery and number five, Jenna Powell in for Greencastle. 2.20 left here in the fourth quarter. Stallone up by 42. Going to get a foul on number 15, Julia O'Brien. Going to send number 30 to the line. Lauren Poole will shoot two. Now this time, yeah, they just stopped it. When she gets the ball, the clock stops. Poole's first shot's up and good. She'll get one more. Rachel Tom's coming into the game here. She didn't play yet. She's coming in for the shooter, I would take it. Second shot's up and got it. And, yes, Lauren Poole's going to go out. Minute 50 left. And here comes Maggie Hughes for DeLone Catholic. O'Brien tried to go. She lost the ball momentarily. Back into Wells. Wells makes a move, lays it up. She's fouled. By number 44, Tom's, who had just came into the game. So Wells is going to shoot two. First shot by Wells is up and good. Wells, the second shot is up. Rims out. Blue Devils bring it down and, and throw it out of bounds. Hughes and Ashley Becker will bring the ball up here. Hughes gives it to Becker. 110 left in the game. Stallone comfortably in the lead. Ball into Wells. Wells lays it up, misses a layup. Zig gets it back to use. Nice Down pass, to into, Zig. Nice pass into Zig, but she didn't get it in. 
Gets the ball back out to O'Brien, and she hits a 15-footer. Down under a minute with 62 to 19. Delone gets the, Hughes takes it the way of the basket and lays it in. Delone got a loose ball there. Went the length of the court. 28 seconds left in the game. Ball out of bounds. It's going to stay given to DeLone, but I'm not sure they're going to get the ball in here before the game's over. Running clock, there's only seven seconds left. Ball's going to come in to use, and Hughes is just going to hold the ball. Actually, she's going to shoot That's it. That's <laughs> not there. I'm kind of glad she didn't get that yeah. one. The final here at DeLone Catholic is DeLone Catholic Square at 64, Greencastle 19. Greencastle will fall to 12-5 and five in a year. Delone goes to 18 and 2 with a big game tomorrow night against Bermudian Springs at Bermudian Springs, and then they'll end the season here on DCBN Friday night against the Hawks. Me and Eric Lawrence will be back tomorrow night, weather permitting, for the boys' senior night against Bermudian Springs. Bill, any final thoughts? No, I'm just still a little puzzled about the the dichotomy, the the difference between how they played and what their what their, their record, record is. is. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about their league. But they dropped to 12 and 5. Delone goes to 18 and 2. Uh, the final score 64 to 19. We'll see you tomorrow night. Me and Eric will see you tomorrow night. For Bill Smith, this is Tony Weaver. Good night, everybody. Good night.